It's match play time for the NCAA Men's Golf Championships in Stillwater. The Cowboys taking on Texas A&M in the quarterfinals. Freshman Matthew Wolf hits the birdie, put on 10. He goes on to win four and three. This one gets really close at the end, but Austin Eckroat sends the Cowboys to the semifinals with a birdie on 18. No rest for the Cowboys at Karsten Creek. The semifinals also today. Fox 23's Jeff Kolb was there for Oklahoma State's showdown with Auburn. Oklahoma State got back out here on the course just a win away from making the NCAA title match for the first time since 2014, but also with the pressure of avoiding a hiccup that would ruin their dream of winning an NCAA championship right here in Stillwater. Cowboys need three points to advance. Here's one from Victor Hovland. He wins his match four and three. Zach Bosho with a putt here to win his match. He gets it also four and three. The freshman, Austin Ekro, closing in on the final point with a beautiful chip on 16. He had the hole to win three and two and send OSU to the national title match. But the Cowboys are holding off on their real celebration, at least for now. We'll fight town to uh, celebrate after tomorrow instead of uh, after today. So uh, we'll save it for for then. Now Oklahoma State gets Alabama. It's the same exact matchup the Cowboys had in the 2014 title match, which Bama won. Nathan? Thank you, Jeff. Like OSU, OU made the final eight, but unlike the Cowboys, the defending champion Sooners came up short in the quarterfinals. Oklahoma took on Auburn before OSU did. The Sooners played the back nine first, so Brad Dalkey with a chance to win his match in the sixth hole. Gets the birdie. He wins four and three. Ninth hole, Quade Cummins needs this putt to keep his decisive match going. He misses. The Sooners would go on to lose to Auburn three and two. I know that they're really disappointed. Uh, I know that they are disappointed. I don't have to talk about it or tell them. They, they wanted to, you know, get in that next match and, and create some, some craziness out here. Still a good season for the Sooners and looking forward to that national title match tomorrow.